Yeah. I listen. I I I, I be watching y'all in the motherfucking comments. Hold on, I gotta take a piss. Oh, hold on. I was saying, um, this is the second one y'all was telling me to check out. Y'all really want me to do the whole series, which I don't really don't got a problem with, you know. I say just trying to spam these motherfuckers, you know. I, mean, I know how it is, bro. Look, it's crazy because your boy Shyrax Snore, he slowly but slurly, surely turning into Baton Rouge Snore. Crazy. The first chapter of the Baton Rouge feud concluded with the loss of G-Money, the release of Fredo Bang, the introduction to Boulevard Quick, and the success of the NBA brand. It became reality TV at its best. As the beef grew, fans and critics alike began to choose sides, not understanding the seriousness of it all. For every success story, there's a story of one who died, sometimes more than one. So whenever you see an artist at the top of the game, it's not always talent. It's about whoever gonna put in that work to get there and do whatever it takes to stay there. Unfortunately, the rap game is set up that way and it's exactly what it sounds like a game but it's chess not checkers and when you're checkmate in this game it's for real there's no coming back to start all over nba young boy's career took off that's no cow no cow i just uh sunfire sleep mukbang <laughs> and like him or not it's way too late Hey, no, no, for real though, I'd rather see niggas fight it out, like hand-to-hand -hand combat, than like the guns and shit, like, because like, I feel like that's like a pussy, you know, I feel like that's a pussy-ass cop-out, like, oh, I can shoot you in here, you be done, done with forever. I go worry about your partner and them, if they gonna drop they nuts and do what they do. Some of them niggas might be pussy, you know what I'm saying? That, uh, the, boom, fight for this quick little whoop whoop, but some of these niggas don't know how to take the L's though. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be like, damn, this nigga beat my ass in front of everybody. And they probably get to him. And they, they keep thinking about, like, damn, I gotta do something. And that's what shit, sometimes that's, that's how shit happens. Like, yeah. Crazy. Late to hate. He's reached household name status nationally and internationally and has sustained himself. Because the crazy in thing is, in the at one point in time, all these niggas was some type of cool. They all probably dapped each other up at some point in life. What the fuck happened in between? Shit's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, after his release from prison, Fredo Bang hit the scene and picked up the TBG torch and ran with it. At the same time, Boulevard Quick had surfaced as one of TBG's top representatives and they both instantly became a product of the Baton Rouge feud. Let's get involved. What Boosie gotta do with this shit? can make it here you can make it anywhere is what people say when it's rough in their city and because the world is a ghetto they're probably right it's an old saying but still very relevant for many cities and states alike one of which stands out more than the others baton rouge is a small city that's growing a big reputation amongst the rap community and in the world in general it's the capital of louisiana the home of the lsu tigers and southern university jaguars baton rouge is a leader in sugarcane production and one of the last cities in the united states that takes major pride in its world of rodeo which often supports the thought by outsiders that BR Who gives a fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Takes pride in their city of rodeo. What the fuck, nigga? Or is all cowboys, sugarcane fields, and dirt roads? Contrary to outsiders' belief, Dan or did think it was dirt roads, though. I ain't gonna say it. Baton Rouge is just as busy and alive as some major cities. It's also a title holder for the murder capital of the world, ranking Damn. in the top 12 between 2008 and 2018. The Damn. 70802 area code was the highest area where law enforcement saw violence. Police in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, say two men exchanged gunfire early Sunday. Oh, well, you know, crime is not a new phenomenon here in Baton Rouge. Thanks to the rap game, the world is orientated on the nature of a city through its rappers. And through each rapper's story, we all get a glimpse of what it's like in that city. In the early 2000s, Lil Boosie and Webby painted a raw picture of Baton Rouge for the world to see. And even though we enjoyed it, it wasn't pretty. Poverty, struggle, and hustle was the Smoking striking a little reality. Dojo on your the results shit. were always the same. Jail Real niggas know what the fuck I just got there from. Time, street, <laughs> and ultimate murder fast forward to years later and out of all the things that changed there was one thing that remained the same and that's the crime ridden street element something the new wave of baton rouge rappers knew all about that why niggas playing 
I don't blow up in this movie. I'm already on my top. A nigga out his top with money? That's a bad fucking combination. At the end of 2018, BR lost one of its most notable street figures and rising rap artists, Boulevard Quick. Boulevard Quick often talked about prison life, boasting about his status as a big dog amongst other prisoners, and how the parish can break you if you're soft. I Damn. never got fucked over in the pairs, nigga. I keep telling these bitch ass. Hey, come here. Put this shit out there, man. I put a lot of you bitch ass niggas on that panic button, man. Damn. Louisiana is divided into parishes. A parish is simply a city, and East Baton Rouge Parish Prison has jurisdiction anywhere in the parish. In early 2018, the prison was labeled a debt trap after studies showed there were 25 debts in the prison between 2012 and 2016. The prison conditions are inhumane, officially making it a living hell, but that never stopped it from keeping a packed house. And if there's anything all Baton Rouge rappers have in common, it's boot camp at the parish prison. There is a crisis in the East Baton Rouge Parish Prison. There are too many deaths in the jail and they want change. Just an hour away from man. Damn. Going crazy. That's the city jail, huh? That's a prison, my bad. Angola, Baton Rouge Parish Prison is considered one of the worst in the state, and most Baton Rouge rappers are a product of it. Lil Boosie, Boulevard Quick, Main Music, NBA Youngboy, Fredo Bang, and many others were all a resident at the Parish Prison at some point in their lives. But running things in the jail and running things on the streets are two different things. Muscle no, man no cap! Power may run the no jail, cap. but on the streets, guns are king and everybody got them. We are a fucking problem. Nigga don't want to see TBG with nothing because we are going to be a real fucking threat to society. Boulevard Quick was released from the parish and got intertwined in the beef between the TBG gang and their former partners slash comrades, the NBA gang. With all the news and internet coverage on this beef made it easy for anyone who got on board to gain instant notoriety. In the midst of the verbal battle, TBG's top gun, the real G Money, was gunned down and killed in Baton Rouge. Less than one year later, Boulevard Quick would suffer the same fate. Boulevard Quick, Baton Rouge police say the local rapper was shot and killed. Wells is now the second rapper from his record label who has been killed. Just Damn. last year, a rapper who went by the name G Money was also shot to death. Two TBG top dogs gunned down while beefing with the NBA gang has drawn more attention to NBA Youngboy and the Never Broke Again movement. They're an example of the American dream, from have-nots to having it all. And when your money is right, you're ready for war. A verbal beef between them can only raise accusation and speculation. Pete, what he just said. My bad for pausing it, but y'all already seen these. Pete, what he just said. He said, when your money's right, you're ready for war. When your money's right, you ready, you ready for war. That's, y'all already know how much of no bullshit that is. How you gonna be, how you gonna have nothing but 2500 in your pocket trying to buy guns and shit? A Glock alone 500 I don't know, I don't know. Well, shit, niggas in the street sell for uh, a clean boy. It's even, even more from the store. It's going to be even more than what it costs in the store. E either the same price or more than what it costs in the store. Right? Then, hold on. <laughs> you got to buy ammo. Now, now, today, ammo is more than what it used to cost. Also, off of what the fuck we got going on in this current situation with that virus and shit. But you you could have got fifty uh 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 fifty bullets of target rounds. They ain't the best rounds to get, but you could have got you could have got those ten dollars for fifty. Now the ones the, the the hollow boys, the 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 gooder boy, the better boys. They uh twenty to thirty dollars for uh twenty. The the boys, the 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 yes, the hold on. The, the yes, the yes, you feel me? Yo, but, okay, and say you got to buy for the whole game. Yo, Shooter, you know, you probably, this is last one. Off the fact, you know what I'm saying, it's hella dirty. You know what I'm saying, you probably threw that bitch in the lake. So, put it like this, bro. You If, you, if your, your bread ain't up, bro, you ain't got time for that. You know what I mean? But never enough to convict someone. Either way, it's probably wise just not to beef with them unless your money is right. My own the slang, I 
Niggas keep trying, had to show them they can't touch me. These niggas dead and keep dying. Although Damn. TBG lost two of their most valuable players, the talent from within just don't stop. TBG member Fredo Bang surfaced out of the parish in 2018, focused and ready for the world. By being a member of the Ops, he was automatically a part of the ongoing feud and he was happy to oblige. Dirty talk and coded wordplay between the two groups are still brewing, but Fredo Bang's eye is still on the prize. Since his release, he's been dropping singles and self made music videos, expanding his fan base and notoriety to a national and international level. Through his hustle, he's created a bridge to the majors and has already began that walk to success. I ain't gonna lie. Aubrey, uh, both of those guys, the money boulevard quick. But I ain't gonna lie though. For, 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 for as much, you know what I'm saying, Fredo Bang has got against him. Cause y'all already know YB fans, like, them boys think that yeah, man can't do no wrong. And they low key toxic. You know what I'm saying? It gets to the point where I can see why a person won't like YB off of his fans. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they get toxic. And it gets crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? I understand y'all like his music. Y'all like, you know what I mean? This, that, and the third. But they just get toxic. Like, y'all say, they'll say something about artists that don't even rap or even do any, don't even have nothing to do with, like, why be laying on music? But why, why and they'll they they basically say, why be can do it better? You know what I'm saying? It's like, what, nigga? <laughs> They, they like, bro, you be talking about Bryson Tiller or some goddamn body. And they'll bring up YB. Like, what the fuck? The, what do we got to do with this? You know what I'm saying? It's just like, gets to the point where it's like, all right, bro. Y'all like, y'all making me not even like this nigga, bro. <laughs> but even though he's, he's, he make fire ass music, but it's just like, bro. You know what I'm saying? But uh, for the most part, though, man, this shit crazy. I'm learning, I'm learning a whole bunch of shit, though. And, and this is gonna furthermore help me understand what 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 gets said in in certain music or certain songs and shit, you know. Um, it's a lot of these on YouTube, by the way. But other than that, though, man, it's your boy Snore. I'm up out of here.